BPO interview tutorials and uh, we'll start with another concept that is on the operation KPI again. Uh, before moving to the video, I would request everyone to please share, subscribe the channel, click on bell icon so that you will get notification on all the upcoming videos. Check out the playlist. You will find videos related to Six Sigma certification, quality analyst trainers, operation team leader, WFM, uh, process trainers, operation KPIs, reports on MS Excel, Lucas Studio, dashboard preparation, almost approximately 180 plus videos are there that will help you in cracking your interviews. So let's move to the another concept that is on call transfer rate. So what is this call transfer rate? We will learn this in detail along with the uh, formula in the example. So let's start the concept. Uh, before moving to this, I would request everyone to check the playlist of operation KPIs. You will find approximately eight to nine more KPIs with the examples that will help you in cracking the interviews. So what is the transfer rate in call center? So basically it is calculated in a form of number of calls which are transferred divided by the number of calls which are handled for the particular day. Now why we transfer the call? Uh, there are many C reasons but the mostly will be if we are transferring to the higher level or maybe to the another department uh, so that uh, uh, the, the call can be answered very sincerely or might be we are not trained on such topics and we'll get a call then we will transfer it to the another department that is also maybe a reason in this way we basically do the transferation of the call what will be the formula for call transfer rate total number of transfer call divided by total number of call handled into 100 in this way you can calculate what is my transfer rate for my individual employee or my team or else for the entire workflow you can calculate easily now how we can reduce the CTR which is known as call transfer rate before transferring the call it needs to be validated by subject matter expert that is mandatory to be done either subject matter expert or team leader need to validate the call before transferring it so that we can reduce the transfer rate as much as we can training needs to be provided on transfer related scenarios yes valid transfers okay allowed but invalid transfer will leads to the escalation quality audits need to be done on transfer call because we need to identify if there are any knowledge or will or skill issue from the employee so that they are transferring the calls at the higher node and uh, try first call resolution which means if you if if you give the pro solution uh, in the first instance itself then the transfer rate rate will get reduced this is one solution you can approach this is all about the call transfer rate if you still have any doubt please share your feedbacks and comments so that i can i can help you out if you still have more examples please share your uh, uh, responses in the comments so that we can uh, do the brainstorming and we can learn together about this particular concept this is all about the call transfer rate check out our instagram facebook linkedin and all the uh, other pages so that you can get the information on all the upcoming igps and uh, all all upcoming uh, vacancies also you will find the information on the upcoming videos as well thanks a lot have a great day